I'm live. Uh, welcome. <laughs> this is 5S5 2005 uh, on the Xbox and on the PS2. Uh, I'm on the PAL version because I'm from New Zealand. Uh, it's going to be slower. I think it's ever so slightly slower because of frame rate. Uh, NTSC is known to have um, like 10 frames per second faster, or whatever it is. So I believe NTSC will be, we should be faster if anyone wants to run this and get a uh, free world record. Um, I'm just switching up my settings to what I usually play on. Um, but yeah, this is, this runs about run on easy mode because too slow if you weren't playing any other one. Um, uh, um, the timer, so the timer starts when I select, um, I select A, I press A to start the, or to select the spy color. Um, I would do a countdown on, and now the start, timer starts on go. And so, time time starts in three, two, one, go. So there's you might have seen that there was white spy and black spy at the start here to choose from. Uh, none of them is faster than the other. Um, so there's eight levels in this game. I'm going to complete all eight of them. Uh, quite reasonably linear style, uh, with a boss fight at the end. But there's plenty of skips I've found to, you know, change that up. So, in most levels you'll see me, if I'm not given the slingshot at the start of the level, you'll see that I'll go and buy the slingshot straight away. Because the slingshot is overpowered in damage, and it also has unlimited ammo. So, extremely useful. Um, you'll see me in a couple of levels trying to pick up coins. So the bridges you're supposed to shoot all the targets along there. I don't know if you saw there was a bunch of targets to shoot. You're supposed to shoot all those targets, but with um, this game's mechanics, you can skip a lot of gaps. So first lot of RNG, we just got there's four safes in that room. Uh, can either the mouse trap can spawn in either one. Uh, we just got perfect RNG, so it's a good start. Uh, it's quite a bit of RNG in this run, um, but hopefully we'll get some good RNG here. There's some, I think there's about a minute and a half between worst and best RNG. There's so much to explain in this game, I don't know how to keep up, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, you'll see me... So every time the screen goes back, it's usually because I'm skipping a cutscene or something that's obviously slow to watch. If you want to play the game casually, um, the storyline's kind of cool and kind of fun. At least in my opinion. The game actually got some pretty poor ratings over in America, but that's because the, um, people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so most of the time I'll also be avoiding enemies as well, because enemies are slow. First puzzle uh, of a game, and first downtime of a game. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat, because I might have missed something you might, want to you might not understand. Um, at some points during this, sometimes I'll jump into cutscenes because my character moves in cutscenes um, slightly, so I get I gain some extra distance, which saves you know half a second every now and then, but that adds up. So I've gathered, I needed to gather 290 coins. I've clearly gathered way more than that, but that's just the way it is. Uh, I need to buy um, a bomb, a bucket, and four boxing gloves. Explain those later. Uh, you'll probably see me use them accordingly. Um, five of the items uh, for storyline purposes, but the bomb is for speedrun. And you'll see I jumped into that cutscene, and I've now moved forward, further forward in the cutscene. So I'm going to jump on these four chandeliers to open a door at the end of this room. And I'll be using these boxing gloves to trap safes. So sometimes, 
at the start, how I talked about White Spy being at the start. Um, so I'm versing White Spy in every level, but that's not really the boss fight. He's not the boss fight, he's just a spy who's getting in the way and being pesky. So he's got a couple of keys and a couple of cards I need to unlock doors and get through lasers. So I'm going to be trapping things to kill him. To get his... To get his um, key cards. And now I'm going to death abuse here. Death warp back to my home base. As it's about a second faster. Do me this way. So you'll see that I've got underneath my health bar in the top right corner. My health bar is a red circle. Uh, I'm going to have a blue key card, so I can now come up to this door and unlock this door. Let's walk through the lasers that are disconnecting because that hitbox disappears straight away. Now, this is a really weird thing to talk about. Um, I have stored my bomb counter. It's really it's quite difficult to explain. Um, but. It's, it's so I can do a fast death abuse here. We used to use a bucket on the door, but depending on the where I go, it can be slower. So we use a bomb, t we saw the bomb timer, and we can commit suicide that way. That's kind of annoying. So I jump to this cutscene. Some, sometimes jumping in the cutscene saves time, but sometimes it also makes some cycles. So here we can now shoot this blimp much faster than before, than if we didn't jump into that cutscene, or it would be much more difficult to do it. And now we spam the slingshot to kill the boss. The aristocrat is the first boss. And we skip the cutscenes, we the next level. Second level is called the Cookie Carnival. Uh, it's quite cookie, you know. Some spooky things. <laughs> This game actually has got some pretty cool music as well. This, the, the soundtrack in this game is amazing. Like, I don't know why this game got such... It didn't get, it only got like 4s and 5s out of 10s. Like, I'm pretty sure like, every, I've never heard a bad review about it in person, so everyone's loved it from what I can tell. So here we're going to grab the bat, because we need that for later, and we're going to do a match 6 game. And we got very lucky on that first one. There's a monkey there in a cup there. It's cut there. Wrong. My screen. That was rather slow, but since it's just a marathon, I'm don't I'm not going to be too phased about that. Uh, recent, so I'm going to come over here and grab this wrench off the top here, and usually meant to walk across all the way to the other side <coughs> and go down the other elevator. Like I went up, the, I went up one elevator and I go down the other one. We just fall off and take some damage, and we have to make sure we don't die now. So I take a certain path along here, um, I avoid the first enemy because it's too slow to get that and I end up missing the cycle here in the maze, so a cycle I need to make there, which I made very much very easily. And now I'm on my way around the map. This is probably one of the most walking maps, you, do, you, do, you, do, you don't do much in this level. It's one of the most boring ones, it's kind of sad. So that's where you need the bat for to slam these door, the door, whatever they are, door hammers. You know, the typical um, circus game. And now I grab that wrench up of that thing to be able to um, get rid of a trap that White Spy put in that safe for me. So now I got to grab the health pack to get full health, and I got a key card now to go into the next area. The next area is shooting ducks area. Um, you're supposed to go down these ramps on each side and like, walk in front of all the guns, but here you just jump over it all. It was one of the one of the most one of the worst instances in this game of invisible walls not being there, because otherwise this game has very good invisible walls and it's very well made to not be broken. So we shoot white spy there and it allows us to progress to get the to get the dynamite from him. Another hammer. Skip some enemies. Get 
again, most, a lot of walking. This spot's one of the most boring, what, yeah, again, one of the most boring ones, but... It's got one skip, but it's, it's done it some justice, that saves it a bit of time. It's now, it's like, the split goes down to, I think, a 5 minute 20 split. It used to be, like, 6 minutes, so... Jump into the cutscene again. Saves a bit of time. Now up here, there's, there we, um, there's a technique called sneaking, where if you don't hold the analog stick up the entire way, you can, like, sneak. So you meant to sneak over that trap, but since sneaking is slow, uh, we just w walk, jump around it. And that's another skip I did. You're supposed to go up to that where that green arrow was in the top corner. Uh, we just did a um, late jump to allow us to skip the cook. Um, so the mechanic in this game is that for some reason the developers decided to let you jump in mid-air about like two-thirds of a second after you've actually walked off it. So you can jump in mid-air and make quite a few significant skips in this game which save numerous minutes and make it a little less worrying doing some jumps. So you also see that I'm just you know, doing a lot of pressing R1, or in this case it's on Xbox, so right trigger. Uh, it's using a lot of, sp not really spraying and praying, I'm holding strafe to um, target the enemies. So we, we go into Cookie Cop and grab that dynamite from there. That's why we put that dynamite there. So this is, this is one of like the worst run, one of the a run killer that just really sucks because these lasers up here can be really random at certain points. You can come you can come up in here and have really poorly timed lasers and you're not ready for it. So we grab that we grab the bazooka here and we're gonna use it on the final boss because the slingshot is slightly slower than the bazooka. Everyone loves the good old bazooka though. Into the second level. So next up is Robot Factory, the fastest level in the game. Uh, it's had to been through a lot of rerouting over the past three months. So bind the slingshot, and we're gonna we gotta, we gotta collect four gear parts here. We gotta kill these four ro red robots um, to get the four gear parts. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna every time if we go back into the base. Um, we reset the robots, so we don't usually you have to kill all the robots to start the new wave of robots. But I learned that you can just go, go exit the room and come back, and the robots will respawn no matter what. So here's another example of skipping much of the level. You're supposed to go across six cranes, five cranes it is, I mean, but instead you just skip across and you do one. And also you're supposed to—it's a sequence break. You're supposed to have. Um, Supposed to have um, turned a pull to lever to make the cranes move, but I decided that making the cranes move is much harder. So if you have it stationary, it's much easier to get. So we've ki we've killed four of the red robots now. Come over to this machine behind me. Kill the last one. Build a robot, and I've got a flying buddy. He's flying with me here. I'm going to use him to open to make the elevators work because currently the elevators don't work because of course that's a typical. Uh, you know, workplace robot uh, apartment story. Elevators never work. And sadly, we need an elevator to get up to the next level because I've been try I've been searching for a way to get skip the elevator, but you, it's at the moment impossible to skip needing the elevator. I can get up to the second level, but I can't get up to the third level. There's four levels in this level. There's four floors in this level that you use to get complete this story. I can't remember why you have to why you do this level. I actually, I um I don't remember what the where it fits into the storyline, but I haven't watched this, the cutscenes in a while. So we got these we got these router arms that's underneath my health bar again. We're doing we did the when we did the cranes and we did we're doing this now. These will give us the router parts we need to reroute the system. Um, so the last two are in these paintings. 
Yeah. See that that lever there? That um, that's right beside me. That's the one you meant to pull to turn the cranes on. But no, we don't need to do that. We've already got the cranes. So we just fall down there rather than taking the elevator or anything. It's much faster to fall down. Maybe take some damage, but I should be fine. So now as we use the routers up here, we make the laser go from me to White Spy, so the robot start attacking White Spy instead. And after this, the, ne the, the last or the, the next boss fight, uh, it's more like bosses. Um, got three robot guys to kill, so we're going to shoot them with a slingshot. But what we really want is this flamethrower. Flame Flamethrower that's over in the corner, because man, does this flamethrower melt these robots. They die very fast, and even though he, like, you saw him fire at me, this flamethrower did nothing to me, and, it, and I'm just destroying these robots. I really gotta, really gotta wonder what they're made of, because I don't remember metal being able to melt that easily. Must be pretty high temperatures, so we're gonna get to this boat and get finished the third level. Fourth level coming up, oil rig. Only recently today got sub seven minutes. Still can still the longest level, but it is seven minutes long. On a seven minute seven minutes long on a good day. So this level recently had found a TAS only skip which allows you to skip the entirety of it straight to the boss fight. But that's of course it's TAS only for a reason. Because it's stupidly hard. And it's very it's not consistent at all. I think when I did when I completed it it took me six minutes to get the skip and it takes me five minutes usually to complete the level. So right now it's not <laughs> it's not viable. Still on it though, still working on it. So here we do we'll see we're going into these rooms and um, breaking off the three bolts in each room. That's to release some pressure to stop the flames that are covering some of these doors. So when you get through these doors also here you'll see I'm going to be getting some more coins. I need to get 260. You need 260 to get four bombs at the end of this level, which will speed up something later on. Come to that later. You also find that my wrench is not moving at the same speed as the bolts that I'm turning. One of the most infuriating designs of this game. I think they're going to put a little bit more effort into that, but. <laughs> It adds to the quirkiness of this level, so I'm very low on health here. At the end of this area, at the end of this section, I do want a death abuse, but I do not want to die, because it takes me all the way back to my home base, and that's a lot slower than de the death abuse I want to do. So I'm going to get at the health pack, and probably just take some damage from the enemies coming up. So the third the third and final room is down with, by the where this flame thing is, because you'll see why it's, called a, why it's called a flame thing in a couple in a couple of minutes seconds. No a couple, a few seconds. Could you please attack me? That works. At least one rather close. Oh, he's <laughs> Sometimes enemies will block your path and then they'll get in your way so you can't get through. I might miss the cycle at the end of here because of that. There's a cycle I want to make on this last pipe. I'm, I'm going to have to wait for that now. Usually I can make it past him pretty easily, but that enemy got re really wanted to decide to block me. So, I missed that cycle, but that's that's alright. Last room, haven't really lost him much health, so well, this death, the death abuse will take a while, but... I still need to go back, I need a death abuse because I need to go back to my home base to buy some bombs, like I said. To speed up the boss fight a lot, and I'm... that's not good. I'm gonna jump into this laser here. We're gonna go, so there's also when we die, we go straight to this, the, my home base, which is right next to the area we need to go, which is quite handy. So here comes uh, up a skip called Oil Slide Skip. You're supposed to do this entire slide, which is a bit, big long spiral. It takes about 30 seconds. We just it in five. That was actually pretty hyper when I found that. Like, I found a really difficult way of doing it, and then I found that really simple way of just running into the pipe at the side. It speeds it up 
a whole lot better and makes it so much easier and more consistent. So again, we, we you won't, I guess you obviously you don't see it, but we again we just kill white spy. If you if you see me putting traps in or like um, going to a place that looks dangerous, I'm probably just I'm probably either killing a boss or killing white spy. I mean, actually, to think about, think about it, and it, or actually thinking of it, in each level there's a there's four different challenges you have to do. So you'll see, like, um, and they each have the, like a white square beside them, indicating that they're like a challenge you're going to. This is one of the this is one of the challenges of the four. The other ones were that flame room I went through. I get the health pack here. I'm quite low. The flame room and the oil slide I just did. So this is one of the most boring parts of the run. We've got a minute of just moving my analog sticks up and down to the beat of the steam. I have to get that meter that's down the bottom um, in the center of the yellow or else I fail. Sometimes it does glitch out though. So it will say I'm late or something when you know the steam's popped up. But Like that, that's when it was glitching, but you got enough time to fix it, and it's fine. So, fun fact I, when I was practicing this game today, I managed to get a world record in this game by 17 seconds. It's a good time. Music is pretty good, yeah, I know, tell me about it. If you search up on YouTube, you can find them, like, the um, OSTs on YouTube, and they're really awesome. So can we kill White Spy again? And now upcoming here is a skip that was found only a couple of days, or actually only about a week ago. Usually you have to go along all these, all these piston pipes to go around the outside of the map and take that crane that's flying across me. Because there's, there's meant to be an invisible wall here, but what we can do is we can... I didn't realize this until recently, you can jump around the invisible wall. And I need to run over to this platform because there's safes in this next room that don't spawn in unless you run, you actually go back onto that middle of that platform. And now we've got secret plans. Uh, you'll see this recurring theme actually. I need to get secret plans um, in most missions. Secret plans for the evil thing the general has planned. And the boss fight is an engineer. Uh, he's flying a helicopter. There's two phases for this fight. This, this fun's very, very target base. So when I fire a bazooka at, at this enemy, this helicopter, it has a it can either hit or it can just miss because even though targeting is very good in this game, sometimes it decides to miss for no reason. So you'll see every time it says boom, um, it's hitting the helicopter. Every time it doesn't say boom, it's missed and it's flying past at a sad rate. Now we pull out the bomb, four bombs we got here, and hopefully get good RNG here. And we got the worst RNG. <laughs> so what he can do is if he if he runs straight towards you, um, if he runs straight towards you, um, you fire you throw the four bombs at him, and the boss takes about three seconds. Um, but since he went the wrong way, uh, it takes about fifteen to twenty. So it's one of the one of the biggest RNG time losses. Um, now hey, look at this, no, big spook fest, big spooky haunted house. This is what we're talking about here, this is what we want to, what we're gonna see. Spooky shit. Skeletons and ghosts. This is the real spooktober now. Fifth level haunted house. Um So this is the first instance you actually have to sneak, and it's the only instance you have to sneak. Because I've tried jumping around that numerous times and it's not worked. So we're gonna skip that entire um, graveyard section as well. You're supposed to do like a really long round trip, but we just skip across with some nice gravestones they place for us for some reason. So my next plan is to there's a skeleton in the room I went or discussed in, and I need to b kill four golden skeletons to get the skeleton complete. Um, so, on the, but in the process, so I killed one golden skeleton. But while I'm, in the, while I'm waiting for those other ones to come in. I can go and discover this pattern that's on the wall, because I have to look at this before I can continue. And now I've got this armor, 
that armor is gives me invincibility. I'm using that so I can fight White Spy much faster. Because usually I used to do it with um, a slingshot and not the armor, which made it very, very dangerous because he has a chainsaw and chainsaw kills me in like I think three shots, three hits. So, but also the skeletons die in, apart from the golden ones, die in one shot from this. Okay, my bazooka and run out. Got all the skeleton bones, let's go. So, I had to go back, I have to sneak again, sadly, but... The thing I like about Xbox is that the dead zone on the um, analog sticks is much better than the dead zone on the PS2 controllers. And I jumped too far. Feels bad. So we can complete the skeleton. Allows us to open opens up a door, which we need to go to to collect a cog wheel. Cog wheel, cog wheel acquired, and now what we're gonna do is we're Gonna go through some pretty serious blades in this room. Swinging axes, of course. From reminds you of Scooby Doo, the movie. I don't know if you, anyone's seen the Scooby Doo movie. Skipped a cycle there, we're going for those spikes. And here's the pattern we found on the wall. Of course, I memorized how many button presses I have to do on each cog, so it doesn't really matter. I don't really think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna say two tracks in this game. I think about talking about the music. Two tracks in this game are actually copyrighted. Um, so I have to when I upload my YouTube videos, I have to um, <laughs> mute the mute the video in those parts, which kind of sucks because the music is great, but it is not apparently. It's apparently from other game. Or it was not stolen, but it was obviously taken and bought. So, but that doesn't count for me because. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> y Y X A A Y. So we gotta play this organ. We gotta me memorize the buttons to press. And that was pretty easy. I actually play the organ in real life. Actually, it's quite a fun and interesting to play. So we're gonna grab this armor here again because we can sometimes get zapped by an electric thing that's on the bed. Because we have we avoid going over a, a trap. This is the last. Um, Last level mission, or whatever it is, challenge, I guess. Leading up to the boss fight, so. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Now, this boss fight is one of the worst for RNG again. Oil Rig and Haunted House have the worst RNG boss fights. Oh, I didn't, ju didn't just catch him, that's mine. We're gonna stop here now, though. So you want him to stop at so when you turn around the circle in this direction, you want him to stop at each subsequent like next one across. So if he stops here, we've got perfect RNG, which is oh he just stopped there. He gave us perfect. He gave us perfect RNG. Sometimes he can go around the entire. So he can stop at one and then go around the entire. Go around all three stops, all the time. But we just got perfect RNG, which is I didn't get in my world record today, which I'm really frustrated with. But it's a good showing off for this gun game because it gets to go faster. Now, Volcano Leader, this is where the most most runs go to die. It's the hardest, in my opinion. Most most can go wrong. I'm not really ever usually stopped in this in this this map. Usually, basically always moving. I think apart from one section or one one puzzle I have to do. Not really a puzzle. It's more like a. I don't know, it's just a, I guess it's more, of a, it's more of a challenge, but... Oh no, I do I try. I do have to wait for, the, wait for this elevator as well, but um, you're mostly just moving all the time. I want to take some damage here, but this is... Okay, that was a good amount of damage. Usually, I like I, my runs sometimes die there, because I'm take, trying to take damage, and I take too much, and I die. If I pick up this wheel, die, go back to my home base. This skips a little, quite a bit more walking, and now I'll go to my left. Put the, 
put this other cogwheel. So we're collecting, we're collecting cogwheels in this level. So you'll see that I've got... I collected one and collected another. Because I need cogwheels to open up doors. And the doors are powered by lava, apparently. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So this is this is the run killer right here. This is where things can and used to go to crap, I guess. <laughs> Because that fan there was usually the hardest one. Until I found a consistent way you can jump into the fan, or into the um, outer edge. And it will stop you from it will stop you from jumping so high and getting hit by the fan. But that used to be a run killer. I remember I used to be, I, at one point I was a minute ahead in one of my runs. And I lost all my time to that. And th this, this level was routed about two months ago to be more efficient with movement and all that. Ah, uh, so, second to last challenge room. This, this, this level was recently, only only recently got under five minutes. And this, and when it finally got under five minutes, it was a pretty a pretty hyper, for, at least for me. Because this, this this level was always, like, thought to be under five minutes. For, um, and I finally got it under five minutes. So, you see that White Spider dies quite quickly sometimes. Um, He just died. He, he, he's, I think in all levels but two, he dies in two shots from the slingshot. Or well, not two, four shots from the slingshot. That's, I don't know what I said. Um, so we clicked the last cog wheel. Um, but in, in Haunted House and in Area 51, which is upcoming up next, he decides this could be overpowered and just decides to ruin our day and makes us lose time to what we don't want to lose time to. But. Steam's also another um, run killer in a way because you try to jump. Sometimes it's waiting for the steam is slow, obviously, you don't wait. But that means you have to jump around it, and jumping around it can be very scary. So those are rolling boulders, we dodge around those. Pretty good segment there, actually. Click this health pack, because the bots are coming up, and coming up again. This is the only part we usually stand still on, is we have to complete this turnstile thing, we have to line up the... for that first try, and now we come up against the general. This is the first time we see the general, I think. So we're going to um, manipulate him to shoot at me from at different angles. Because targeting means that he aims at the point I'm heading towards, so if I'm running towards the left, he'll aim further left, but then I can shift my shift my movement. This is also RNG where I, th I think it's RNG. It might be manipulable, but where he moves. But currently, it's just sort of random where he moves. And where where he moves can depend on whether I make the cycle here. See, I want I want to be able to make because I wherever I wherever I shoot him and kill him last, that's where I start. And I have to make that platform cycle. Where I lose about um, four seconds if I don't catch it. And it's all dependent on where I last when my last bullet hits. General, and that's not the last of the other general. Even though you think the general would die in this lava, etc., etc. No, he teleports away because teleportation's a thing. I mean, you'll see that in Area 51 next, anyway. And this is the this is this level done now. Two more levels to go. Spookiness, Area 51. Even though you think it might be spooky, the aliens are aliens are. They do a bit of damage, but they actually don't look too bad. So in this first area, we want to um, collect a whole bunch of coins, because there's a bunch of coin routing for this, this level. We want to buy a whole bunch of things, which A, speed up the game, and B, also... Um, uh, make it speed, run, speed, up, yeah, speed up the game, and also continue the story. There's a certain cycle I want to make here, I've just made it. I did do the wrong route actually, come to think of it. And we, we can shoot that, we shoot these cameras, or whatever the spotlights. And we can shoot that one over the building, which is quite nice, because that saved us having to walk around the edge. And now we, we clicked enough coins to buy everything we want. 
And now we need to buy some mines to blow up a satellite dish. We're also going to buy some boxing gloves, which we need later on the level. And a dynamite that we require. To speed up the game. A death abuse. This death abuse is quite funky actually. Um, what we can do is when we die, we're, 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 there's a certain frame where we're still holding a battery we pick up here. So we pick up this battery here and we die with it in our hands. We now spawn in with this battery in our hands, which we're not supposed to have in our hands. So I can, I'm holding a slingshot right now. But at the same time, I've got a battery in my hand. It's a funky little um, texture glitch that was not really bugged out, but I don't think anyone, they don't really thought about it. So White Spy there has a lot of health, and you'll see I took quite a bit of damage. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna death abuse here, because I've got too low a health to, to really want to continue this right now. So I can, if I die here, I'll spawn back in this room, rather than back in my home base. Red, blue, green, red. So if I, di if I died after doing these um, lights, um, I would then go back to my home base, and that takes a lot longer to walk back to the, the back, walk, the, the, walk back here than it does to just die there. So I have to in these rooms, I have to kill all the aliens to progress. This is where the boxing gloves come in handy. So we're gonna go take that. I'm gonna take that um, UFO teleportation. You know, there's always beams, by the way, are teleportation pads, so we're taking them. We're taking them to um, different places. at the same time as speed running. Let's take some skill. <laughs> Red, yellow, blue, yellow. So these lights are all RNG as well. So this is very RNG to play. RNG dependent. Um, my um, I lost a lot of time in my PB to my old PB that had like really like perfect lights and this one my PB current PB lost me about was eleven seconds to lights, which kinda sucks, but that's the way it is. There's a lot of RNG, there's quite a bit of RNG in this game you just have to accept. Um You get used to it. I mean it's not you know, it's only at my level would um, RNG actually be a run killer. Necessarily. Not me, not me to have that machine gun, that's pretty poor. But I death abuse here to go back to my base, and it's about 8 seconds faster to do the death abuse here. Death abuse, go back to the spawn area again. So you're supposed to run back and go through all the tentacles again, but we just skip all that by going back in this way. Red, yellow, green, red. There's another challenge, it's called the Skeet Shoot. I think it's a Skeet Shoot. Um, ah. I mean, I'm not doing good here. I have a time limit, but I, I usually have plenty of time to do this.
This cycle is pretty easy to make. Um, you have to do quite a bit of waiting here, actually. Take some damage, because I want to do death views faster at the end of this. Since I have to wait for these guys anyway, I might as well take some damage and... You know, get myself, get myself down to pretty low health, but it's enough. It's fine. I don't... Oh, I gotta, that's right, i got to buy four bombs here. Oops, wrong way. Boss fights this way. And we throw the bombs at him, and now we pull out, we pull out the pull out the flamethrower. Thank you. And we just burn this guy. And that's the end of Area Fifty One. Last last level space station. So we fight the general again. And we completely destroy his plan. Since I missed the cycle there, I had to ta I take the asteroid platforms instead of taking the death abuse. There's a death abuse which is slightly faster if you get the right goods at the fast cycle, but here it's going to be fast to take this way. I haven't done this way in a while actually because I usually get the fast cycle, but. Well, I didn't really explain either actually. I, I mean, I was caught up not doing it there, but you have to. Um, it's faster to jump up slopes because it's slower to run up them. Um, you get a speed decrease when running up slope, slope. Oh, what are you doing? I don't usually get stuck behind him. Damn, I'm just gonna miss. This. I'm gonna have a bad cycle here probably. Oh no, I fixed it. It's fine. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm shooting these green blobs that are floating in these portal, these tunnel things, and they give me batteries. Um, I need three batteries to get to get to the final boss. To be actually able to access the final boss. Runs are actually going alright so far. Um, so what we have to do here is we have to kill one of these red, these orange, the, the dark orange guy is important. We need his hammer. He's got a hammer. He's like Thor. He's got a hammer. But his his hammer is not the unusual thing. It's to complete a puzzle. coming up, which is uh, one of the basically like the mini game, mini games you get in um, carnival games, but it's only four of them, so it's basically designed for the D-pad pretty well. Uh, it's, it's a bit boring, I have to do, well it's actually, it's actually quite a choke point for me because I've actually messed it up once, but you've got to go through 60 button presses, keeping up with the, where they, sp they spawn up I guess. Ah, uh, it's there. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was not looking at my screen. <laughs> this is the gyroscope. So there's also another choke point. Yeah, watch out for the electric. The electric electricity has a bit larger hitbox than you'd think. Last green blobs to destroy. Last battery. And now we, we just leave and head towards the final boss fight. Pick up the bazooka, because the bazooka is faster. The bazooka is faster for the boss fight. And now, we're supposed to kill White Spider and get a big long cutscene which shows us killing him properly, but we just ignore that. He just somehow ends up in space in the final cutscene somehow. Space slide, one of the hard... Like, it's, 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 this challenge is kinda hard, but 
It's only hard if you mess up this first cycle, because this first cycle is really easy to follow. Really easy to follow. Now we come up to the, we're coming up to the tunnel where I put this where I need the batteries for. Oh, just made that. Find the last one up and walk it. We just we, if you hold strafe while running in midair, as long as you don't jump, you'll just keep walking in midair without slowing down. And now we're in the boss fight here. Uh, teleport up. And we're supposed to have to, we have to take down a shield first. He's got a shield on him. So we're going to pull these levers, and you're meant to, usually meant to run around, but with some precise jumping, we can skip over to these these platforms and save about 15 seconds in total. And now timing ends when I when the, on the, when, the, when the screen goes black upon killing the general. And that will be I'll say time when it's done. Time will be in three, two, one now, and that's time. I don't know what time I got, but... That was... My run. 44.30, that's not bad, that's only a minute past my... That's only a minute past my world record. That is not bad at all. Oh, but yeah, this this is that Spy vs. Spy 2005, my a game I have spent too many hours playing and routing and finding strats for, and it's come to this. A uh, 43 minute world record, and that was actually a pretty. That's pretty much a, a normal run. You get about 45 minutes on a. Um, 45 minutes on a. Um, Reset this run, but my some of my sum of voice is 50 minutes, so I thought I might as well set it, my estimate to 48 just in case. Because if you die in boss fights, boss fights take a while to complete, so who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed that run. Uh, if you want to get into it, um, you can search, find the speedrun.com page at I think it's svs05 on the end of speedrun.com, so it's speedrun.com/svs05. Um, yeah, it's available on PS2 and Xbox, and I do allow PS2 emulator at this point. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of it or not, but if you have no other way of accessing the game, I'd I'd very much feel I'd let you run on PS2 emulator, even though it's really shitty. I do not recommend running on PS2 emulator, but <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, 